There's only one Welshman I know who can handle a car like that. Ah, uh, well, it's not a patch on newer sideways skills, that's for sure. <laughs> Modest as always. So, what are we doing? I need a third-party evaluation of the modifications to my sprinter. So just drift it down the runway. Let's go. A nice show for the local drift club. Just like back in the UK. There we go. That's everything shaken out and warmed up. Feel free to keep going, though. That really is the best way around the corner. Actually, there is increasing acceptance of the value of lateral velocity in shortening a corner, even in more conventional racing contexts. It's been too long, Rob. The temp on those tyres is coming up nicely. Keep at it. to the top if you want another run. So, when's the grand opening of Drift Club Mexico? Who told you about that? <laughs> You're too easy, Rob. Call me for the next one, you hear? You have arrived early. Horizon Arcade will begin soon. So, what have we got here? The Nismo GTR. I do love a Nissan. One of the best drift platforms in the world. In my opinion, of course. Evidence for other opinions is welcome. We've got a room. Right, let's see what this can do. It's technical. Some very tight turns along the reservoir. Rear wheel drive is perfect for this, though. Really tight set of corners come in.
Stock, of course, this is all wheel drive. And pricey. Usually you see them on the pro drifting circuit. Luckily, we had one knocking around the festival, so uh, I had a look at it for you. That's a good car. What's the next recruitment vehicle? Recruitment? I have no idea what you're talking about. Sure. Call me. When you're over by the bridge, drop by. But you know what? I'll slide right over then. That's a 325. Very nice. Not stock though, right? Not at all. Get in. I'll tell you as we go. Rear wheel drive, 6.2 litre V8 engine, developing 750 bhp. Custom camber for optimal entrance and exit angles. It's quite the piece of engineering. Alejandra said this was her first drift car. That makes sense. Abundant parts, reliable, and easy to work on, too. So, this is an interesting technical challenge. Drifting uphill. The additional inertia is a very intriguing factor in how you achieve the optimal corner approach.
As before, we're running some informal leaderboards for all of these little drives, and I've worked up a few of Haley's accolades. Have a look at them. There's a bit of a reward for doing them all. I'll take a look. Call me for the next one. When you've got a moment, drop by the Copper Canyon. Turn around when it is safe to do so. I thought we'd been focusing on the classics a little unfairly. So, how about this? The 2020 151 Formula Drift Supra. This is based on a 2020 Toyota GR Supra, modified by Papadakis Racing, with um, approximately 700 extra bhp. But higher baseline speed necessitates maintaining the drift at a greater lateral velocity. This is a really tough corner. Be ready to functionally destabilize the rear. Lovely corners if you take it though. The trick here, I find, is how fast the cars need to balance forward velocity against the optimal angle. You are managing it nicely. more time. Uh, tell me, do you like volcanoes? 
volcanoes. What are you up to, Rob? Uh, nothing at all. Thanks for the help. I'll call you. I've got a bit of a muscle car for you to look at. Drop by when you have a moment. A drift-rigged muscle car? I'm on my way. That's the Formula Drift Mustang. Very nice. It is. I told you this was a muscle drift, and we've got 6.9 miles of the nicest drift road I think I've ever seen to try it out on. Let's get cracking. We're dealing with a supercharged 5-litre V8, giving you a good centre of rotation, very slightly biased front, 900 bhp to push out the back. It takes some, um, on my jocularity, lateral thinking to build a good drift car out of a muscle platform. I think this is a very competent attempt. It's all downhill from here. I mean that in the topographical sense. Watch the corners though. Can't drift if we hit trees. was basically one and a half tons of 2015 Mustang GT. Just wait until you see... No, no. Let's not get ahead of ourselves.
on the projection. I think we can do better, though. Okay, time to come clean. What are you planning? Just a little something we've been working on. You can wait a bit longer. You're no good at keeping secrets, Rob. You know that. Do you think you could just pop over to Guanajuato? Be quiet, he'll hear you. Sure, Rob. Mum's the word. I see you've brought some friends, Rob. Yeah, well, just the local chapter of Drift Club Mexico. We thought we'd surprise you. Well, there's more spectators than I expected for a secret club. Right, let's put on a bit of a show then. Just turn it. Oh, just go straight down the stairs. This is Mr. Kenneth Cox, Hooligan Gymkhana 10, Ford Focus, RS, RX. Two-liter, turbocharged, front-mounted engine, and all-wheel drive. There's only the one seat, so I will be the voice in you ahead. Guanajuato well, has something of a drift culture, you know. The tunnels, the narrow streets, the cathedral square. The roads are closed, right? Oh, yes. Our newest member, Pablo, organised it. Follow the tunnels. Watch the walls. They're snaggy. <laughs> left, left hand fork. <laughs> Coming up on the end. And a peek at the future of drifting. I've got a bit of a confession. You see, we've got another car for you to have a look at. Is that what I think it is? The RTR Ford Mustang Mach-E 1400, the first fully electric drift and Gymkhana platform. Should we take it out for a bit of a spin? This car was customized by drift legend and engineering wizard, Mr. Vaughan Gitton Jr. and the fine people at RTR. Why? To answer that age old question, what is the future of controlled oversteer? What's up, Rob? Looks like you two are having a lot of fun with that car. Oh, yes. Vaughn, it's quite a piece of work. Could I perhaps press you for your impressions working on it? For the members. Getting behind the wheel of the Ford Mustang Mach-E 1400 completely changed my perspective on what power and torque can be. 
Together, my team at RTR Vehicles and Ford Performance spent over 10,000 hours working collaboratively on this to bridge the gap between what people believe an electric car can do and what it can actually do. Turns out, it is well beyond my wildest expectations. The Mustang Mach-E 1400 uses seven motors, three on the front differential and four on the rear, giving us 1400 horsepower so we can do anything from drifting to high-speed track racing. Every piece of aero and every duct you see is functional for aerodynamics and cooling. This car makes 2,300 pounds of downforce at 160 miles per hour. Ford has made it clear that they are bringing fun and function to the battery electric vehicle space. And this is just the start. I've watched even the most seasoned vets turn into giggly little... That was all-wheel drive. The motor layout allows you to change drivetrain essentially at the... The motor layout allows you to change drivetrain essentially at the push of a button. So, just toggle it over from all-wheel drive into rear-wheel drive, shutting down the front motors, and then off we go. The fastest drivetrain swap you will ever do. Nice right-left opportunity ahead. Careful as you manage the inertia transfer. Very hard left, then right. Then sideways into the tunnel. and we're heading for where we started. On behalf of Drift Club Mexico, as well as RTR and Ford Performance, let me thank you for so the show to the end of my YouTube video right now, so give a thumbs up button if you like the so video so much, click on that bell button to subscribe for more content, and if you saw the recent video interesting, 
be sure to comment right below the description so you can share some thoughts and feelings with everybody in the community and make them feel welcome. So I make a happy Corona 95. So have a great day and peace out.